This is out of Ohio, USA. Joshua Harris, a former pastor who wrote a relationship book, says his marriage is over and he is no longer a Christian. Guys, this is huge. So um, Joshua Harris and his wife actually wrote a best-selling book uh, back in 1997 um, called I Kiss Dating Goodbye. And this book has been uh, revolutionary in the Christian religion. Uh, It has been handed out for the past 22 years in Christian youth groups uh, all over the country. It uh, sold over a million copies. I mean, this was a huge deal. In this book, it contributed so much to the culture of exclusion and bigotry, uh, to which those are actually his words. He is now saying that his book contributed to this culture of bigotry, Um, And he's undergone a massive shift in regard to his faith in Jesus. He's disavowed his own book on a handful of occasions in recent years. Uh, He gave a 2017 TED Talk called Strong Enough to be Wrong. Um, He has divorced his wife. He's no longer a Christian. He uh, actually wrote something to the LGBTQ community saying, I want to say that I'm sorry for the views I taught in my books as a pa- and as a pastor regarding sexuality. I regret standing against marriage equality for not affirming you and your place in the church and for any ways that my writing and speaking contributed to a culture of exclusion and bigotry. I hope you can forgive me. Um, he actually went on many different tirades over over this, trying to get people to turn away from the teachings of his book. Uh, his book was act- absolutely awful. He said things like, I'll never forget the anger and disgust I felt um, when I, I saw three gay men checking me out. It was so wrong and so filthy. He said things like, lust is a problem and God hates it, so should you. Uh, things like that where, you know, when you're a teenager, and then the, like I said, these things are taught in youth groups all over um, this 22 year old book. When, when, when you're, you start noticing lust as a teenager and you start noticing your body, but you're told constantly that you're disgusting and you're gross for doing so. Um, this causes a lot of issues with people that, that, that they hold on to forever. Uh, so a lot of the stuff he wrote was terrible and it was awful, but the fact that this man is, is strong enough and brave enough to come forward and not only say that the stuff he wrote was terrible and awful, but also ask for forgiveness, uh, for the, the mess he caused. I think he's, he, this is absolutely admirable. Yeah. I think he deserves to be forgiven. I think I like this. I'm now a huge fan of this guy. That's pretty good that you come out and say you were wrong. Not, Not enough people do that and right yeah, yeah amazing think, yeah i think he deserves to be but anyway, why is this news now because you said he had a ted talk about this a couple of years ago when did he had a ted talk like this is going on for a while so is what's the most recent update that made this be on the news is because of his relationship being uh his marriage being over um actually for him writing on instagram recently saying i'm not a christian oh okay uh, all right yeah so, so, and, so, then, and then he also went on to say, and this is this is great, that he has lived in repentance for the past several years, repenting of my self-righteousness, hmm. my fear-based approach to life, the teachings of my books, the views of women in church, and my approach to parenting, to name a few. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Good so, on him. Yeah, good on him. But so, so basically, just to be clear why this is now in the news, so it's been recent, like it's been... It's been a while since he said that his book was bad, right? And it causes bigotry, right? But And it's also been a while since his marriage is over, right? I think, I'm not sure actually. But the most recent update is that he is no longer a Christian and that's why this is getting attention again, right? Does, does he have a new book that we could advertise? Like maybe about how, maybe he should write a new book. He should write a new book because right. he has three out there that are just awful. <laughs> right. See, this is why you shouldn't go with a publishing firm, by the way, because it's, he, he hates these books and now he can't unpublish them. Right. Like I, I, I publish my book with Atheist Republic. And if I ever decide that I'm not an atheist anymore and I wanna, <laughs> my book is harmful, I could just like this, this remove it from publication. But if you go with, a, by the way, if you go with a publishing firm, he has no control. Like he, his books are still being sold by these publisher, probably, right? Are they? Yeah, and he he cannot go out and remove them. So, uh, what right. do you? Right, th- I like uh, 
Hmm. Beej added something from our chat. She said, I like that he asked anyone he harmed to please contact him so you can apologize to them personally. Wow, that's okay. And if I never need to apologize for something, I'm going to go study all these man's posts and just kind of use them as a model. That's pretty good. That's pretty, yeah. that's pretty good apology. Yeah. Um, so the top comment is saying, interesting. I'd like to know what made his. What made him renounce Christianity? I always find it fascinating when super religious folks stop believing. Yeah, and I think he should write a book about it. Tony saying lust is a problem and God hates it, so you should you. Then why did your God give it to us? Oh, I think that was one of the quotes from his book. I don't know. Um, Shubham, what do you any comment on this? Well, uh, I just want to say as someone of the LGBT community. Apology accepted, of course, and is admirable, absolutely admirable. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.